It's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and I have a new DIY video for you today. I have some excess stuff so I wanted to make a sheepskin like rubber for my horses. That sounded kind of bad. A sheepskin rub rag that I can wear like a curry comb for my horses. And I have tons of this nylon webbing that I have no idea why I bought it but I figured I gotta use it. So I was gonna use this. And then I bought a piece of sheepskin on eBay for like 10 bucks. And I don't know if you've ever used real sheepskin on your horse's coat before, but it makes them so shiny. So I had this and I thought I'm gonna make a sheepskin rub like rag for my horses. And then I was also thinking about making a sheepskin mitt. So now I'm gonna show you how you can make your own sheepskin rub rag for your horses. So if you have a sewing machine, this is going to make this project super easy for you. You don't need a lot of stuff. So you need your sewing machine, which is right there. I love my little sewing machine. You're going to need some sheepskin. You'll need something for the hand strap. And since I have all of this, I'm going to be using this purple webbing nylon. And I think this is one inch wide nylon. Should probably have a lighter so that you can burn the edges of the nylon so it doesn't fray. And you'll need a scissors. You should probably have a pen too so you can trace how big you want your sheepskin mitt to be. So for my sheepskin mitt, I want it to be kind of the size of my hand. So I'm just gonna kinda, and I don't wanna like go right in the middle of my material and waste my material. So I'm gonna kinda try to keep it towards the edge and I want it to be a little bit bigger than my hand. That pen's not working. So I'm gonna kind of make it like that. So it's kind of like an oblong circle so I can get my hand on it. So then you just take your scissors and you're just going to cut out the sheepskin. And that is my sheepskin part. So I can put it in my hand and it will completely cover my hand when I'm grooming my horses. So now I'm gonna cut a piece of the nylon. And I wanna give myself a little bit of room because if I pull it straight like that, it's gonna be really tight for me to get my hand in. So I wanna be able to have a little bit of give a little bit more. That way I can get my hand in there. So I'm gonna take, move my sheepskin so I don't burn that. Cause see if you don't burn the edges, it's just gonna fray. So I just wanna melt the edges of the nylon a little bit. So it doesn't fray. Like, see, that guy would have frayed. And again, it's like an oval. 
I guess you could do it this way, but I want to make sure that my hand is completely covered. So I want to do it the long way. But you can do it however you want to do it. So now we got to do is stitch this on and our little sheepskin rub rag is ready to go. side done. I'll clean it up when I'm all done. I have my, well now it's kind of messy, but a sheepskin rag for my ponies. But it is kind of baggy, so I'm going to stitch it just a little bit more on each side to make it just a little bit smaller for me. You can just clean up the edges if there's little frayed edges of your mitt because the sheepskin can kind of it'll just kind of come off on the edges if you just want to make it look pretty you go like that just clean it up it's not really that big of a deal though because you're just using this to groom your horses so see made a cute little sheepskin rug for our hand so we can groom our horses and make them all pretty. So you can keep your thumb on the outside if you want, or you can put it inside, it's up to you. But that's why I like using the pattern of my hand, so I can make it a little bit bigger and make it how it's gonna fit my hand, which I'm pretty happy with that. But if you're anything like me and you've made your little rub rag for your horses with sheepskin, but you have all of this sheepskin left over, what else can you do? Well, why not make a mitt, a sheepskin mitt? It won't be the fitted kind that you can buy, but those get pretty expensive. But you can make one if you've got this stuff and you can just slide your hand in it. So let's make a sheepskin mitt now. So what I want to do is I kind of want to make sure that I'm on a really thick part of the sheepskin. So this feels nice and fluffy. So again, I'm just gonna trace my hand. Feels like good floofiness. And I'm gonna make two of these.
And I want to make it a little bit bigger because I am going to be sewing it. Why not? Got the sewing machine, right? Yep, that's really nice and floofy. So we just want to duplicate that again. And look, I still have a ton of sheepskin left. And it's going to be something like that. But when I'm sewing it, I'm sewing it inside out, so I'm going to sew those two pieces together. I probably don't need it that narrow at the bottom because if I cut it if it's too tight, my hand isn't going to be able to get inside of it. So I think that is probably pretty close. So now we'll see how it is to sew sheepskin on my sewing machine. Okay, now it's time to sew. We'll see how, how this is going to work. So I'm going to make it a little easier on myself and start up a little bit higher so I have something to pull through. And I'm just going to go slow. Now, we'll turn it inside out, maybe. Let's see what it's like. That was really hard to turn it inside out. But there 
is a sheepskin mitt that you can rub your ponies with and brush them off. May not be beautiful, but it'll definitely work. All right, everyone. So that was a little challenging on the mitt, but we made a sheepskin rub rag that we can just wipe down our horses with. And we made a sheepskin mitt. So like I said, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it will definitely work to make your grooming a lot easier and make your horse super, super shiny. So it's kind of cool. We're gonna be grooming machines here pretty soon when they start losing their winter coats. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.